Scary. Oh man, I can't get back up there. So I just lost my melee weapon. Oh, wait. Asking ye shall receive. <laughs> Another weapon? Nice. Take the hatchet though. It's nice that it's introducing me to other weapons. Seems like man's is getting more creative. Could always use a shovel. I need a drink. I do. So my question is, is what I'm seeing real or am I just drunk? There's a lot of weapons around here. I don't like that. I like that they're there, but I don't like the implications. Get up here. That's one. Where's the second one? There he is. Until it breaks. Oh, I didn't even get the chance. But it is a little busted up, so I'll use it to break open that gate like it was telling me to. Looks pretty weak. I just need something to break it. Scared to take Carnby. I don't want to go that way just yet. Gazing statue. Oh, he, he's gazing real good. I 
lost my melee weapon though. So I kind of want to go get another one. this way. No, I don't want to go in there yet. Let's go this way. Hmm. What was that sound? Oh, it's a oil rig, I, I guess. It does not sound like that inside here. I thought that would have been a collectible, at least. Bullets. Severe lack of loot going on here. Alright, continuing on, I guess. Alright, let's go into this house now. We got a live one here. like whenever I go outside it just disappears is it really that oil rig making all that noise? I mean I understand it's making a lot of noise but like that grotesque noise. I'm gonna grab another weapon. Now the game's implementing sneaking. Anything in here? Distracting them. All right, we made it through. Cool, cool, cool. More over there. Getting out of here is going to be rough. Unless we're just gonna teleport when we get to the end of it. Ooh, can I open that? I can. There's gotta be a way to get to the other side. like a giant rope, so maybe if I get up to the top of that oil rig? Shut down the oil pump to be able to climb the tower. Whoa! 
Hey, buddy. Don't mind me. That's terrifying. Oh, that's right. They said it leaks oil immensely if tampered with. And I just set this whole place on fire. Goodness. Okay. Okay. We're climbing. It's frickin' bats. Oh. I love right. Halloween. Now what? You ask great questions, detective. Ever heard of zip lining? Alright, tough cloth. Well, that seems self-explanatory. Yeah, come on, Carby. Wouldn't you rather fall to your death than go up in flames? Oh, man's got a point. I think this lady can't afford him. Damn. We are gonna sneak through here though, because of all those creatures that we saw in the water. Eh, screw it. I'm not seeing any at the moment. Oh, there's one. That either. What, was that? what do? Thing even go. The, oh my god, this game. <laughs> I love it. Like, I haven't it's felt this full mount Jeremy talked about in his book. I haven't felt this type of tension since like Outlast 2. Scene time. Don't come any closer. I'm off. Get that thing out of my face. Who are you? What are you doing here? Miss I'm Lottie? Just a detective trying to find something called Tarawea. You after Jeremy too? Why? I'm working for his niece. She wants to make sure he's all right. He might be unharmed, but far from all right. He's a curse upon Deseto. Uh, here we go again. What? Oh, 
What? Oh, Christ in heaven. What just happened? It was a bust. The oil rig and the hateful mound led him nowhere closer to finding Jeremy. Conde was sure he had struck gold when he found Jeremy's bag, but it was just a trap set by Lottie, another of DeSetto's orderlies. Things got out of hand real quick, but somehow Conde managed to find his way back to DeSetto, none the wiser. At least it was one item off his list. Now he had to figure out what to do with the boiler. What do we do with the boiler? What the fuck was that? Th what the fuck was that thing? What was in the bag? Thin enough to slide through the crack of a door. Okay. Reflections on the power of the verb in certain texts by Juan Luis Jorge. To act is in itself divine. Even the slightest movement of our hand is evidence of our soul in motion. Yet our free will is so easily overwhelmed by the dullness of everyday life. Our actions become rote and rigid in spite of luxury and comfort. True divinity is found in the choice of leaving the stage where we all perform. People who discover this freedom unexpectedly will be struck by the terror of this revelation and become paralyzed, or worse, turn to suicide. However, if you are able to weather that storm, you will discover that there is a divine path beyond that fear. There is a chance to dismount your destiny and make something new. Something that hasn't been planned for or predestined. There is difficulty in explaining this type of acting as it transcends our everyday choices this isn't some banal decision choosing one career over the other, or even who I should marry. Leaving the stage, no matter how, isn't a matter of course correction. It's a rejection of the story that the creator is telling. Hmm. Okay. Sitting room key. Nice. The palette knife we can use to unwedge doors. So now we can get into the drawing room, which is right here. And also, we can now get into this hallway, I guess, to get into the mezzanine. What was that? I think it came from around that door. Okay, I don't know what the hell just happened with all of that. That was pretty cool. Monster was pretty scary. Um, I don't know if I want to wedge the door yet or if I want to keep like doing what I'm supposed to do. Okay, so we have to go fix the boiler. And now we can remove wedges from doors. Why was I going out there again? I don't remember. It's wedged shut. It worked. Ooh. Knock, knock. Nobody's home. Still don't know I what that's I have is. everything I need. Okay. That's going to be interesting to come back to. The Barlow Lens. Instructions. To double the magnification of your telescope, simply fit this Barlow Lens to your instrument. Then operate the fine tuners to adjust the distance between your lenses. This is easily done while looking through your eyepiece. Simply search for a position where your picture is clear and appears flat. When correctly tuned, your telescope should present a clear picture with magnificent magnification. We have to find a Barlow lens. I wonder if it's in this room. The cellar. Okay, so now we can get into that gate down in the basement. 
or the cellar. Oh, it's a dog collar, not a cat collar. Okay. But we found the last one. So now we should be able to get the shotgun. That was interesting for them to fall over. Oh, the world interacts. That's cool. I need to get the cat before I can use that. That might be a puzzle. Yeah, it's a new puzzle. So now we can get into the cellar. So they want us to go back downstairs, the boiler room and the cellar. We don't have everything for the boiler room yet. Let's check out the cellar after we open up that door. All right, plan is check out here, check out the cellar, then check out the boiler. After we do this. Now we're talking. Hmm. Yeah. Now we can really do some damage. I'm sorry, why is it locked? What? Are we not gonna talk about like the giant monster that was in that just happened oh of course here here's a melee weapon and bullets oh shotgun shells okay Maltov man that transition sucked <laughs> for the character at least, but that was really cool. It scared me. This is interesting. Interesting. Okay, can only hold two shots, but we're probably gonna need it here soon. So we're just stepping back into the normal house? happens if I go back it's just no room no nope. that's annoying let's go unlock that door that was wedged shut it's wedged shut it worked all right. Nothing in there. A normal clock. Can we get in the mezzanine yet? Detective Conby, how good of you to come. Let me pour you a drink. What happened here? This place looks like it was hit by a bomb. <laughs> Welcome to the madhouse, Detective. Thanks. Did the ceiling just collapse? I heard it was something in the attic. Something that was supposed to happen, but didn't. How that could have such consequences is beyond me. The truth is, I don't know why the room looks like this. But I bet your friend Jeremy does. You know where I can What do you know about Jeremy? Oh, 
Somewhere in his past, I suppose, he keeps going on about that mysterious dark man. I think he is hiding from him. Or maybe he's with him. I can't really keep up. I don't worry much. Take a look around this room. You may think it looks spectacularly devastated, but I just think it's finally found its stride. <laughs> it fits perfectly with the state of this place and its loonies. The same goes for the nonsense with Jeremy. In my eyes, we finally managed to match the wild ride inside all of us. Well, I'm happy you find the evening so harmonious. I, uh... Hope you don't mind me setting things right. Jeremy's business, that is. This room looks beyond my capabilities. Good luck, detective. Hope to see you again soon. Yeah. Evening, miss. Okay, she pointed us towards the attic. Ruth seemed like a handful. Her talk about Jeremy and the Dark Man made it sound like she might know something of importance. But ultimately, it felt like a dead end. I guess the next step is to repair the boiler. After we visit the cellar. So let's do a quick lap around here, see if we can find the light out. Are those beignets? <laughs> they are. <laughs> That's great. No, it's not. That's bad. A beignet with rat poison? Well, we only need to find a needle now. Maybe that's going to be in Lottie's box. Well, well, well. Now that that's open, we have full access to this entire area now. Oh, we can talk to her again. Can I get some more of that whiskey? Go ahead, detective. I don't think I can stomach any more anyway. Ooh, the stairwell. Oh. We're not gonna question that. We'll, we'll come back to that one. <laughs> that does look cool, though. I don't know why that is like that, but... Alright, onwards. The transitions in this game, like, between, like, the worlds are very... Disturbing. Not disturbing, but, like, unsettling. Or this should be where the... We need to go next. Open sesame. Lots of bugs, lots of bottles. That is a lot of bugs. What is this? Oh, we're missing a circuit on number three. Might learn something about that a little bit later. Turn off the electricity to get to the valve. Valve? What valve? Why do we need to turn off that valve? That was convenient. Now we can do that. It I works. don't like this at all. <laughs> Me being in the dark with everything that's going on. What does this valve even do? Oh, it's a valve handle. 
Okay. I thought it was for like uh this thing here. Well, it was, but like I thought it had something to do with like I was gonna be using that. Can we turn the electricity back on? <laughs> no, of course not. Bring it on. Well, I mean, I'm not in the other realm, so I shouldn't be in danger, right? Wait a second. I am in the other realm. When did that happen? When, when did I... Okay, hang on. When? Was it after I turned off the lights or are they starting to spill into the real world? Or is it only in the dark that they show up? Okay. Valve replaced. What's back here? More stuff. Okay. Furnace. Jeremy? There is no way we found him this early in the game. And if so, something crazy is about to happen. Buckle up, kiddos.